Hey guys, welcome back to my next video. This time we're looking at the Ma Oh No. Sorry if I crucified your name, but that's how it pronounces to me. My Oh No DM30 RGB streaming microphone. Now we'll get directly into what comes in the box, then we will see what it sounds like. So continue to watch. Right then, so this is the Ma Oh No DM30 RGB condenser microphone. So what we'll have to do now have a look what comes in the box and then we'll have a look at the RGB effect and then we'll see what it sounds like so so far so good very nice soft padding and you've got accessories right here that's the accessories then you get the microphone itself and that's the rest of the box it does have a bit more foam at the bottom so it doesn't go slipping now does come with this little bag on top so put that for there and this is the microphone itself so as you can see it's got a volume button it has got an adjust so you can adjust the angle of it which is like that right the bottom bottom it's got a headphone jack it's got type C and that is the RGB button so yeah that's what comes in the box that's that then we get a type C cable awesome and then we get a that's it then we get the manual so we'll have a look at the manual 75 years later oh it does you can download software oh no 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 oh wow right let's get into what it looks like with the RGB right then so this is the overall look with the RGB I have turned off my light so you guys can actually see the effect now it is on rgb mode and to be honest the light underneath is very subtle it isn't in your face and it's very easy to change Ooh, ooh. my favorite is the purple which looks very nice i love the overall look it looks very very nice Obviously you can adjust the volume, then that turns the light off, then it's that. So, that is the overall look of the Maono DM30 condenser microphone. Right then, so what we'll do now is actually do a comparison. So I have got my Wave 3, which is by here. And these two are so similar because they are actually desktop microphones. Now the best thing about, I'd say, about the Maono is the price. This is at £43, uh, £43 on their website. This was £160. So there's a huge difference in price and overall I do like the look of the Maono, Maono but I do love my Wave 3. This is why I bought the Wave 3, but for £43, this is an absolute bargain. But what we'll do first now is see what it sounds like. So make sure you continue to watch because I want to know what it actually sounds like. So continue to watch. Okay, so this is the Maona link. This is the software so you can control the microphone. Now, it has got a lot of different functions. Obviously, you can adjust the mic, uh, mic monitoring, he uh, headphone volume, but that's advanced set. Uh, the normal is, but here you can adjust the grain, the tone, the natural bright. You can turn the RGB on and off from here. And as you can see, the DM30 RGB is connected. Now, I still really, really think they should have a volume indicator on the mic itself because any uh, novice streamer or someone who just wants to get into gaming to speak to their friends, they're not really going to think about, oh, does it come with software? Uh, they're just going to think, just plug and play. Uh, I do wish they had some sort of an indication button or some indicator on the microphone itself just to indicate what the volume is instead of having to download software. But 
of course the software is easy to use as you can see it's very simple very straightforward and i hope that helps right then guys well i uh what do you think the overall look and design is very nice i do like the rgb but of course that is subjective to the person who's looking for a microphone uh overall the the sound quality sounds very good and the overall design is very nice but there's one thing that i do not like about this microphone and that would be the volume button because there's no indicator on the actual mic by here to show which volume you're at now the button keeps turning and turning and turning so you're not going to know what the actual volume of it is now i've had to adjust this six or seven different times just to see if you guys can hear me as you can see from the recordings the volume obviously depends and obviously i've got to talk a little bit louder so that's probably one thing i don't like about this microphone is the fact that it doesn't have an indicator on it and how high the volume is so basically it's you've got to at least just keep going at it it's configuring it and seeing which one is the loudest now of course the wave 3 it is 160 pounds so of course it's going to have better features it has got a actual leds to show you how loud the volume is and obviously that's the one i use but i hope this sounds okay i've done initial tests and from the initial test it sounds very very good it's quite very it's very attractive at the price of 43 pound but my oh no my oh no you have to when you revise or bring out another microphone what i would suggest is perhaps putting an actual volume indicator to show what the volume is instead of the user have having to go into windows itself and adjusting it that way to make it much simpler for the consumer that is the one negative thing that i've got with this mic but of course the bar it is a bargain at the price so mano uh, Ma oh no that's one negative and other than that it's a very good microphone the sound quality the overall look and design very nice and i give it a recommendation except i want a volume indicator you gotta know it's for the consumer so hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and as always i hope you guys have a fantastic day goodbye